think we're good. I think we're live. Let me know if you guys can hear me. I think audio sounds good. But hello, everybody. Let me get a better thing. Welcome back. We're here for day two of the Rocky Mountain Rep Rap Festival, the 2024 Rocky Mountain Rep Rap Festival here uh, in Loveland, Colorado. It's been a great weekend. Uh, we were here yesterday doing a live stream. We were taking a look at a lot of the cool vendors that are here um, and some of the main exhibitors as well. Uh, today we're going to take a look at some of the really cool makers. I think there's plenty of makers here, and that's what this event's all about, is the makers making really cool uh, projects and things for 3D printing. Uh, so we're going to take a look at really, some really cool maker tables today for the most part. Uh, we might say hi to a couple vendors as well as we walk by. Um, I have a couple people. We're going to start in the South Hall again this year, uh, this time. We started in North Hall. Uh, first yesterday, we're going to start in South Hall today, and um, we're going to take you for a ride for day two. Today two, day two is a little bit shorter, um, but we're having a great time. It's been a great, great weekend. Uh, thank you all for being here. If you guys are just joining us, uh, go ahead and hit that like button. That'd be greatly appreciated if you guys have been enjoying the weekend content here uh, at Rocky Mountain Rep Rep Festival. So um, let's go ahead. Let me try to, you know, pro streamer here. Jeez, my camera's not rotating. There we go. So this is the South Hall right now, back where we started yesterday. Uh, pick, crowd's picking up a little bit, actually. It's not too bad right now. It was a little bit quieter this morning. Things are kicking in a little bit. How's it going? Took a look at these guys yesterday, the Denver Hacker Space. Um, we're gonna we're gonna take we're gonna walk this way and work our way back and through the maker tables as well. Um, I do want to stop by and see Joel Telling if I get a chance. He has a activation over here. Let's see if we can maybe say hi to him. He has a crowd of people behind him, so maybe we'll get some video. We have to come back. We'll, we'll come back to Jules' activation. I don't, I don't want to interrupt and be rude, so we'll come by here. A3DP, we got Wuxin over here. Green Gate over in the back corner, they're awesome people. Light burns over here. We'll go up this way, let's start this row. So how, how are we doing this morning? Hope everyone's doing well. Get us still Denise here? over here. Yeah. He's been really helpful because uh, he's trying to help me out with the little YouTube. Okay. We got the massive Flexi Rexy over here. That's pretty cool. All these cool dragons. And I believe I believe Denise is selling these as well. Yeah. We got the massive S still Denise logo. She said she printed on the Elgu Orange Storm Giga. Got some dragon action going on. Looks like we got some electro plating over here. We're gonna take a look at this in a second. Yeah. You have to do exactly what you do. You have to know exactly what you do. Yeah. And you have to just figure it out. So that's incredible. Um, when people try to start with that, I always suggest to start small. Sure. Just get a small pleasant like that. Yeah. And just do copper electric plate. Sure. And uh, get a decent uh, copper electric All right. We'll keep moving forward. I don't want to interrupt people while they're talking to other people, so we will we will keep moving forward. So that's really cool though to see some electro plated 3D prints. You don't see that very often. I've seen it a little bit lately, but it's been pretty cool. Yeah, it's real Okay. And then foil, solder. Yep. And so what are you doing with the 3D Making the Let's see what we got over here. Old, old 
Alright, we'll make our way down this road now. Hello, good to see you. <laughs> Doing a little YouTube live stream right now. You want to say hi to everybody? Oh, hi. Hey, everybody. I'm out for fries. <laughs> <laughs> um, I normally do resin painting mm -hmm. on TikTok and YouTube. So, homemade jam 3D, check me out. Awesome. Yeah, I've, I've been seeing you over on the uh, Jerry's uh, live streams on the weekend. Oh, so. on Saturday? Yeah, I finally yeah. get to meet you. Yep. I know. Well, I would shake your hand. Here, let me shake this hand. <laughs> It's been a minute. Absolutely. Um, I'm his prodigal child. <laughs> I show up every now and then when I, you know. How's your weekend been? It's been good. Um, we were in Arkansas normally. Yeah. So we had flight here and then set up and then we went out that night and went bowling and then it's just a lot. <laughs> it's been, yeah, it's been a crazy weekend. Yeah, it's been sure. a crazy weekend. Yesterday was a, a madhouse. It was you came on a good day. Did, yeah. you, did you come yesterday? Yep. Yeah. Yep. I'm right over there, actually. I'm at the table. Oh. <laughs> I need to come find you then. Absolutely. Did you get a sticker? Take a sticker. I will take a sticker. Thank you so and much. I'll come by and get one of yours. Absolutely. Thank you so much. I'll be back. Right. Absolutely. You got some cool LED stuff over here. Hello. How are you doing today? Good. So you guys are spicy 3D prints. Yep. Mexico. Tell us a little bit about it. So we mostly design accessories for flashlights for people who like caving, camping, sitting around in the dark. Um, but all of our designs are on printables and are just attachments for flashlights that help turn them into diffusers. That's awesome. Thank you. I, I'm a big LED enthusiast myself, so this Fabulous. is really cool to see. What's your favorite color temperature? Well, I like the bright white, like the, the cool yeah. white. Yeah. I don't know if we can be friends, but that's okay. <laughs> I, I, I like all LEDs. I'm, I'm yeah. Friendly to them all. Oh, I like the I like the neon green light. Yeah, the, uh, that one, one can change colors too. That one's Blue, a fun light. Red. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So, what type of LEDs do you use for these typically? Uh, so we don't manufacture any of the lights. Mm -hmm. Most of the lights that we do have have Nishia okay. um, emitters in them. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Well, check them out. Spicy 3D prints of Albuquerque. We got QR codes as well. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Have a good day. All right. So this is we're getting close to my table here, which we went to yesterday a little bit. But my awesome table neighbor, Argot's Oddities, and he's also out of New Mexico. And he has some really cool custom painted uh, 3D models as well. I love the existential slice, that's pretty funny. That's awesome. And he also hands paints quite a bit of these. You want to make that? Download it, inspect it, got a really awesome set. And let's redo it. Thank you. I'm going to take it, keep walking, but follow. Can you follow? Let's talk. All right. Yeah, let's do that. I'll, I'll, I'll do that right now. How's it going, man? Good, We're you? live on YouTube. You want to say hi to everybody? What's up, yo? Alex Argot. Argot's Oddities. Tell Every us a little about what you do. Everything on the table is made by myself, hand-painted, final products over here. We got Sparrow, half Sparrow, half Bear. A testament to be as timid as a Sparrow, but as fierce as a bear when you need to be, and knowing when to be such. I made a run of six of these last year. Everything from the concept to the packaging was done by my hands. Pete Zha was born yesterday <laughs> of existential slices. Uh, again, from concept to packaging, everything done was done by myself. Eventually it's gonna be in a series of eight different slices of pizza going through their own individual existential sli crises. So it's called Existential Slices Pizza. And we got prototypes over here. These are pipeline projects, things coming in the works, like my homie Cappy Barry. That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, he us, he's had a great setup all weekend. He's got an A1 Mini up and running with a couple of different schools. He's got some prints over here. So we got a little mushroom prototype. I'm not going to tell or ask you what you put inside of here, but... 
Thank you. Um, it does work. Yeah. Look at that. That's amazing. This was designed by myself. This is some hand painted final products. These are some prototypes. So that's where you guys can go follow if you're interested. Learn more about them and all the cool projects. It is Argot's Aussies. Another New Mexico native. There we go. Uh, thank, thank you so much. Uh, it's basically just so I haven't seen this all weekend. I'm yeah. curious to learn more about it. Well, uh, these are a lot of my designs, uh, but I'll start with all of the great community remixes of my T-Clips designs. Uh, so this is a system I've come up with to easily attach anything to Scatus pegboard, because uh, I, I saw a lot of amazing attachments yeah. for uh, yeah, for Scatus mm -hmm. that just really fell short on the actual attachment methodology. Right. So I made this one uh, open source and free, so you can just take the step file for the attachment, drag it into your CAD, and make anything attached to the Scatus board. So uh, I didn't make these designs. These are all remixes, and you should definitely go check them out and enfranchise those creators. Um, but I'm also using the the T clips to show off my uh, my. Uh, PTFE connection system. Yeah, so, he's, he's oh, wow. so these are what I use on the back of my Prusa MMU. Um, and I made these so you can get into your filament lines, push and pull stuff, and it'll snap right back together. That's amazing. Yeah. I, um, uh, oh, let's move this one back. I'll show you how maneuverable these are. And there we go. Uh, that's fantastic. I haven't seen. I've been. I've looked at those IKEA boards too, and I'm like, those are yeah. really cool. I just have no idea where to mount them. They're nice. I think they're a significantly better option for attaching 3D prints to these sorts of things. Uh, and uh, I, I've, I've also created a, a generator for to create your own Scatus board and 3D print them. Uh, and it also exports stuff for laser cutting or CNC, so you can make your own Scatus boards. Uh, and I also have my my favorite. Uh, carry that scatus, yeah. <laughs> uh, which is uh, I I was I was uh, looking at my my mother's which who is visiting to me today. Um, she does a lot of sewing, mm -hmm. and uh, whenever she has uh, items that she's you know moving to a different sewing location, she's you know bringing all this handful of items, and I wanted to create a uh, way for her to have a palette of tools that she can go back and forth and set it up directly where she's working and have that very convenient for her. That's um, amazing. Yeah, and uh, but like this usability is, is something that I care a lot about in my designs. Uh, for instance, uh, with this, my, my roommate worked a, in a hospital during the pandemic mm -hmm. and he had to wipe down every surface every time he left a room. But how do you wipe down a, a glove box? Like, do you wipe down all the boxes in, or the, all the gloves inside? It's untenable. So I made this, which is a wall-mounted, uh, foot pedal-oriented glove box. Oh wow! Uh, so you you push down on this foot pedal. But the reason I'm bringing it up here is because of this fillet. This feature in the design is not mechanically necessary. But it's really important because it tells the user this has to be mounted on a wall. It's uh, in, in the design industry, it's called a, a signifier. And it's what I'm trying to show with all of my work is I want the designers that are designing beautiful objects today to use the form like this fillet to convey the important usage parameters of their items. Uh, I want people to care about how they view these objects. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. So where can Thanks. they find, where, where can they learn more about this? Uh, well, uh, you can find me on printables as Line Arc Line, mm -hmm. uh, and I think uh, I also have a website, uh, tiny.cc/willharris. Awesome. Uh, so yeah, you can find all my stuff there. It's all free and open source. Awesome. Thank you so much for taking some time. I appreciate Thanks so it. so much. I appreciate it. Have a great time at the convention. Will do. Thank you. Thanks. That's pretty cool, Chad. I mean, there's some really interesting things here. And something like that, with you know, I enjoy seeing a lot of really cool practical things like that. I think that's a really neat design, a really neat concept that he's working on. And, uh, it's like, it's really cool stuff.
Hey, Doors Mark, what's going on? Got a massive yeah. Deadpool over here. Got some really cool helmets. They keep walking. One sec, I actually got to run, but yeah. Got the robot arm there from yesterday. Got some really cool stuff over here on the maker side. We got the polymaker boots over here. They're going at it. I don't think I showed this yesterday too much. We're going to try to zoom in a little bit on that. If anybody's waiting to do it, they can step up a little bit. Nice little, nice little, uh, Shooting game, it looks like. I'll have to try this out later. Yeah, so it's 1v1. All right, so this is where we kind of left off yesterday. So this is behind my table has been here all weekend. This really massive print. Oh, is it Bill's work? That's awesome. That is really cool. I, it, it's been busy all weekend. It's been a great hit with the kids. Um, I'll have to check it out after sometime today. Um, we got these massive prints here um, from Tracksman, uh, who this is his table here, has built in LEDs into the eyes. That is amazing. And look at this thing is massive. There's a whole separate side table just to cover it here. We got another one here as well. Really cool model. We also got some really awesome tool changers here. These are custom tool changers. That is incredible. And look at some of the prints they've gotten off these tool changers here. These orange. That automatically makes it better. One one day I would I like, like to orange. do something like this for sure. Not RBO though. You got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six different tools on this thing. I love the color scheme on this too. We love that one. Uh, I don't know. That looks like it might be worth enough. I don't want to take it out asking. <laughs> All right. See, we're now at the Hedgehog Makes table. This is a zombie hedgehog's table. He also brought his own tool changer design. It's been operating all morning. Looks pretty cool. It's a little much smaller than the one next to it. It's still really awesome. I, I love seeing these tool changers. I, tool changers have been really, um, there's been a lot of tool changers here at the show and I feel like the tool changers in general have been um, much more popular in the last couple months, I think. But we got some really cool, cool looking designs here. Try to feature some of the stuff here. Zombie Hedgehog, another really cool uh, streamer and maker here in the community as well. I think he's out. I think there's many people out streaming right now, like around the venue. So we're gonna keep going. We got some more awesome makes here. We got some custom Ember prototypes plates, which I did order one for the Prusa XL. It's coming soon, hopefully. I don't know. Um, I did order one uh, during the pre-order, so we'll, we'll definitely show that off when we get it. But um, these Ember prototype plates are amazing looking. I've seen some of them in person. I'm really glad I made a pre-order on one with my logo. Are these still yours? Got Glenn in 3D in the back. In the tables. Now we got Retro Maker over hello, here. Hello, house. hello. What's up? How's, How's it going? Good, it's going great. Good. It's all going good. Dude, I love your setup again this year, man. You're killing it. Yeah, I got the the shelves this year for more uh, to show more. I love, I love the shelves. It's all 3D printed on the edges. Oh, really? Yeah, this is a 3D. Uh, Ted Baker, the best. The only, right? The only. 
the doctor. That's a tool. Yeah, I love I love these little speaker box, these right. little cases. They're all designed to fit this specific uh, Bluetooth speaker, and I've got different styles of from the '50s, the '30s, the '60s. There, I've got those record players. You can use it as a box, or you can use it as a Bluetooth speaker. Boombox. <laughs> That's so amazing. You also got some Hue Forge stuff this year as right, well? exactly. Uh, Hue Forge I've been working on, and these dice boxes are real popular. There's Ooh. A, yeah. Using um, Hue Forge to create a... <laughs> well, come on we're over good. Good. really good, yeah, because nice. I'm going to be like, where do I find... How much is the STL, and where can I find it? Right now, you can find it on Thangs, um, and... Usually when I release them, they're free for a week or two, and then they go into my subscription model. But with that code, you can get 50% off for two months. So, um, and then I'll be able to, I'll actually sell them individually as a price. Yeah. Just have it. All right. So yeah, find, go, go, go on things and give RetroMaker a follow, but definitely check out some of his stuff. Some really awesome stuff here, man. Thanks, Jano. Yeah, thank you, man. Yeah, great to see you. It's always. a great event. Yeah, it is. It's awesome. Everything. Awesome. I'm going to keep moving, but thank you, guys. Hey, thank you. Uh, Light Forge, uh, yeah, Light New this year at the event is a swap meet table as well. There's now, uh, you can put, if you want to sell a printer or something, you can. And uh, it's a, it's not organized by the event, so it's all self-organized. So if you want to sell something, you can. Someone's selling their, uh, their bamboo lab, I guess. So, But we'll keep making our way through. We're going to go now to the North Hall and check out some maker tables there. But uh, thank you guys for hanging out so far. I appreciate you being here. It's been a fun weekend, for sure. If you guys are enjoying this, uh, definitely give it a like. If you haven't subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button. Won't do too many more plugs, but I appreciate you guys being here. I, I enjoy bringing you guys some content. Looks like your table last, uh, Murph. <laughs> Let me catch up with chat a little bit. Oh, Bill is where you build the targets and the electronics for them? Also, scanner base, not the whole display. Oh, that's awesome. That's really cool. I know you were, like, talking about to a couple people. I heard, like, whispers of you helping with work projects, so that's really cool. Uh, we'll start... We'll start down here, actually. We'll take a look at some of these cool maker tables. This is uh, Zolan's table over here. Ladies and gentlemen, last call. We have an awesome panel going on in the Hangers Lounge. Got another A1 Mini going on. Find yourself all. I mean, black, turned up area. Some seats available. That's cool. So it looks like it should be right. Got some like educational stuff here too. I think it looks like pretty cool. Two thousand year old math puzzle. <laughs> Draft fits inside there without it's a math puzzle. Oh really? <laughs> you want to try a math puzzle? You have to get the tetrahedron yeah. to fit inside the cube. I have one for you. What will that so apparently this fits inside the cube here. What's that called? I'm gonna struggle with this for sure. Honey, stop touching that. Oh man, I, I give up. <laughs> so it looks like it shouldn't fit because the sides are too long, right? Right. Well, what's the longest way across the square? Diagonal. Oh my goodness. That's awesome. I will check this out. That's pretty cool. These are all models from our math and science books. That's awesome. I love seeing the educational side for you bring a little bit. Oh, that's awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much. You got some really cool stuff here. Unstable culture. Yeah, it's literally, like, it's literally, I, would, uh, I saw how they, it's literally wood fiber. It's tiny little wood fiber, like mm -hmm. sawdust. What it is. And they put it in. And the company that, uh, um, 
Amla. Really nice setup over here. Yeah, really nice setup over like here. Got an anchor make over here. That's the first time I've seen one of those in, in person. How's it going? Doing good, how you doing, man? Good. Hey, no, how you doing, man? Doing good. <laughs> doing, doing a YouTube live stream. You want to say hi, everybody? Hi. Tell, a little bit, tell everybody a little about your uh, your table. Your... So we're on Stable Culture. Um, we are basically the everyday nerd. We cover the everyday nerd. Everything from D&D &D to magic to Pokemon to Star Wars, you name it. Uh, we do... We're based here in Colorado out of Broomfield. We do custom orders. We do um, general concessions that most a lot of most here um, uh, Comic Con stuff like that. And as you can see, our giant. This is my failed Mario foot. Oh my goodness! That the, the that belongs to a five foot four tall Mario that we did for a client for uh, at Wicked West. I don't know if you can get a good shot of that, but that's what it looks like. The finished product looks. Like. Oh wow! That's yeah. incredible. That is, a, that is a big foot. Yes. <laughs> Mario's got some big old feet. That's awesome. Where, they, where can they find more? Uh, learn more about you guys? We are on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok under Unstable Culture or Unstable Culture 1 on Instagram. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much. I, I, was, I was saying that this is the first time I've seen one of these Anchor Make printers live in, in the real world. Like I love her. We've had her since January. I had a beta unit until mm -hmm. I got this one. And she has printed beautifully. Like, I can tell you this, this skull was printed on her, and so were, so was, like, this cup and that cup were printed on her. Oh, wow. Yeah, and we'll give you an idea, the seams are almost completely flawless inside. There's your seam on her. Oh, wow, you can barely see yeah. that. Yeah, she does, her seam settings are amazing. <laughs> and that's the default seam setting. Currently, we're printing Cali Dragons with a new Cookie Cat filament. Yes, I saw that yesterday. I might have to grab myself a spool. That looks really yeah. nice. Well, awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Great display. How's it going? Man? You too. So, so many awesome things. We've got 3D printing, which I haven't seen yet. So, be sure to. 3D really pretty with another really fantastic display here. We've got some really good displays here this year. There, some people, some some displays are above and beyond, and they're amazing looking. What's up, man? How's it going? Good. We're doing the YouTube live stream right now. You want to say hi, everybody? Awesome. Hey, Joe, 3D printing, and this is my stuff that I made over a few years. Dude, your setup's amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, so I got uh, puzzle boxes, uh, lots of stuff for dice. Uh, Built-in rolling tower with the roll-up dice box. The larger rumble roller. More puzzles. Uh, these are print-in-place puzzles. Oh, wow. So you can print this without knowing what the secret is, and you can challenge yourself. Uh, some other puzzles. Uh, these are one of my favorites. These aren't print-in-place, mm -hmm. but these are really easy to build. Lots of fidgets. Uh, a 3D There's printed a water fountain. I know what you're thinking. 3D printing of water. They don't go well together. You know what? Just a little bit of Mod Podge spray is all you need, and it will uh, seal up just fine. That's a, I mean, that's that's awesome. I've never yeah. seen anything like that. Before. Yeah, thank you. And these are modular, so you can get different pieces that snap in to build your own like Zen garden fountain. So I tell you, you just have a little pool of water there, and it just keeps cycling through. Yep, yep. Under underneath there is a reservoir, and uh, this one, if it's angled right will give you a nice little eternal fidget, but right now, yeah, not working. That's still amazing regardless. Yeah. We've got our uh, bobble hands. These are magnetic on the bottom, so you can snap them onto uh, a metal surface. I'm not supposed to say this, but you could add them to your extruder and have that bouncing around with your print and maybe hurting your print quality a little bit, but come on. I have people in chat asking about the fountain. They want the info on that one. They're, oh, okay. They're, they're excited uh, about it. Uh, all of these designs are free at 3dprinting.xyz. There you go. 3dprinting.xyz. They're available on printables, things, and thingiverse. And all the designs are free, and most of my designs are free to sell. The only designs I have that aren't free to sell are things like the uh, Mario containers, because, you know, I'm not Nintendo. Right. Um, and we got our uh, pin screen toy. 
This one's maybe not super fun to assemble. <laughs> I used to have one of those all the time I was growing up as a kid. It would keep me entertained for hours, honestly. Yeah. And of course we have our giant opposable snow people, including replaceable hats. So if you have any hat model online, you just give it this little custom peg and you customize your snowman. That, that is freaking amazing. I, Thank you. This entire stuff's awesome. I love the little QR code uh, cards. I, I thought that was a really good idea. I go to these events and I see all these things. I, I want to print that, I want to print that, I want to print that. I get home and I have no idea what it was that I wanted to print. So this way you get a nice little reminder or for those who just use their phone to just take a picture, take a picture, take a picture, that works too and it saves me a card. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, man. I hope, oh, hope it's been you. a great weekend for you and definitely have a really, it, it's, some of this stuff's really amazing. Well Thanks done. Thanks so much. Thank you. Awesome. Take care. Ooh, we got some lithos over here too. Can I get a close-up of the QR? Uh, yeah, I can. Let me go back real quick. Uh, uh, there was a customer in Brooklyn that had one of the, like, they bought an industrial 3D printer uh -huh. and living locally was the inventor, the patent holder of the pin screen. Awesome. He came over, I shared a pastrami sandwich with him, mm -hmm. <laughs> and he had his beret on. Hopefully I got that to you, I apologize if not. Got some lithophanes over here. Yeah, I get that. I do like my my list of things as well. Oh, there's some really good designs here this year. Ooh, these are really nice. Yeah, exactly. A litho Jack Daniels bottle. Well, that's actually really neat. Yes, he's stuck around, kind of doing it to himself, sort of. Not to himself, but. I know. Yeah, I know. But, you know it's got a nice model rocket here with LEDs built into it. A lot of LED projects. I'd like to see that. Howdy. Oh, we got the Halo Needler. Sorry. No, you're all good. And if you, want to take a, if you want to take a picture with it, just ask. Will do. Thank you. You got to like, ask the gun if it answers you. <laughs> <laughs> then you are worried. Really cool model. He's like, what do you mean? Thank ask? you. Each one is individually wired. So they each have their own lights. That's why it gives it that organic look. And they're actually made from flexible filament. Ooh, wow. So um, even wired, you can actually run one of these over with your car and it still works. That's awesome. Why you do that, I don't know. But he did test it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we used to, we had TPU connectors for automobiles. But thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. There are some really cool stuff here this year. I have been really impressed with some of the stuff I've been able to see. This is all uh, stuff to help disabled gamers play. We deliver all this free to people who need it around the globe. That's amazing. Thank you. Awesome. That is awesome. Thank you. Hope yeah. Some of the people we need in the world. They can find you over at the controller project? I'm sorry, what? They can find you over at controller project. The controller project right? com. Awesome. That's really cool. I'm going to take a shot of that. That's really cool. It, 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 I love seeing projects like this that, you know, the, the possibilities are endless with stuff yep. like this. It's yep. really cool to see. Thank you. There's so many, I gotta figure out where am I going next, but you got all sorts of makers on this row here. We got Prusa Mark IV over here. <laughs> We got some free CAD. I think a free CAD booth over here. I, I wish I could literally stop at every single table and talk to them, but I unfortunately cannot. We'd be here a long time. We did talk to the custom uh, prosthetics guys yesterday. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, there's some really cool stuff. Like I've been, I've been really uh, impressed with some projects. I've been inspired with some of the stuff I've seen here for, for some for some ideas. I love seeing the light boxes. Those are always really cool to see. So how cheaply can I make this? Because this is Another big printer here. We got Trent Oval Labs. I literally mean like... We're 
try to walk through as much as we can. Some more fun deltas. This is DB3D Dan and the uh, Libre computer table. Uh, in a second, I'll get, uh, I can do it. Absolutely. Yeah. We're, just, we're just walking through. So I can, you know, possibly have Got some slice work stickers. I'm going to grab one at some point. This is the back, the Mitch backpack for two. Get some Delta action going on. Ciao, how you guys? Uh, how you guys doing? Everyone having a good time? Hopefully you guys are enjoying. All the cool projects today. Yes, we see 3D. The mini Delta here, the C E C N C. Yeah. I would love a mini Delta like this, honestly. I love you can pick it up. Almost. And the same exact way, and I got. And if all of a sudden it decides that it wants to have you know, a, a power a, you know, power blip or something like that, yeah. both of them, not just one, both of them have to shut down. It's like... Yeah. It's, it's insane. So. It's, but when I go to look up, you know, one of the and of course it's you know, still doing the... Nice little branch. I mean, check it out. I don't know what to look up for one. I have to try to have some... Yeah, it's like, I have that blip And then they were like focused on... We got someone in the backdrop here. Just yeah. give you guys an idea, this is the North Hall here. It's pretty packed right now. I don't think so. No. Let's go walk around here and take a look. We'll come, we'll come back to the Libre computer people. He's been, he's talking to some other guys, so we will we'll respect that. We got Edge of 3D over here. Okay. Those awesome drag racers. That's awesome. I'm gonna, uh, I'm definitely gonna. He came up with the design for the drag racers. I've seen you online and stuff like that. Yeah. You would like. We also got Digital Dragon here showing off some of his really cool custom builds. Say hi to people. Hey, Jano. Hey, people. How's it going? Doing good. I'll let you see it. Welcome to here. I'm off. Hey, Jano. Here you go. Oh, we're getting, we're getting some uh, electronics action here. Yeah, so 48 volt power supply, 24 volt power supply, SSR for a mains bed. All right. We got a Big Two Tech. Take a look at it when I get home. Big Two Tech SKR3 is the main. Controller board, TMC 2209s for the Z and the extruder. We have an Annex Engineering uh, Constellation Supernova with Big Tree Tech 5160 drivers. And this is taking 48 volts to our four gantry motors. And then everything's controlled by a Raspberry Pi running clipper and a 7.9 wave share display. That's awesome. I love seeing your builds on your streams. It's Thank you. I love to see it come <laughs> Sorry? I see it's artwork. Oh, oh it, it absolutely is. is. Yeah. It's functional art. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely will be talking to you about board options for my, my upgrade when I get to it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Then I go to my house, you have to go I just get all the off. I'm excited. And right now, I, I was having problems when I first got to the show. I was printing ABS with this printer. Mm -hmm. It was printing fine, but after about a day, the ABS in this environment just kind of open air. Right. It started printing like doo doo, so I switched over to some PLA. I went over to Eatback and grabbed some fast PLA. Um, I can run this a lot faster. Get a drum motor, throw some heat in it, and I can probably run this at least two or three hundred percent faster. Awesome. So I love the dual rails here. Yeah, so. 
this is technically the back of the printer, mm -hmm. um, and this would be the front. I swapped these two panels to put the door on the side so I can use the screen. So this is X1 and X2, Y1 and Y2. And so a belt run for each motor is just one length side and back. So these two are synced to run the Y axis. These two are synced past to run the X axis. And it just works out so well. You get a lot of power and torque into these. And that's why these are running on aluminum motor mounts is to deal with the heat generated by a 48 a motor run 48 volt hot. Right. That's fantastic, man. Great work as always. Thank you. Awesome. It's amazing. Yep. Where, where can they find you? Uh, I stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash digitaldragon72. And I'm also on YouTube at, at digitaldragon72. I stream on Twitch. I cross post to YouTube. Awesome. And I'm also on Discord and Twitter. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Awesome. Definitely check them out. Thank you so Thanks, much. Have a good one. You too. Got three chameleon guys over here as well. I'm gonna take a look at there. They got the Magneto X here. This is the first time I've seen this printer out in the wild. Got the 3D chameleon set up here. You guys, we saw them yesterday in the Space Ghost guys. Watchdog yeah, filming Josh, monitor. I, I just had it for demo and I just didn't get time to get it set up. So, yeah, I, I'll be the next on my horizon. <laughs> got the recycled filament. That's awesome to see. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. This project. And you reach out to him and said, hey, like, yeah. I just want to make sure it's okay with you. Yeah. yeah. You can't even tell. All right, we got, I think those majority of the makers that we've seen, all the middle tables are maker tables. Uh, I do want to go back and talk to the Libre computer guys for a couple minutes just to get an idea, because those are really cool. Uh, DD3D Dan, Maker Mind Nexus has been uh, at their table. He, they were sponsoring him to get to Remurf this year. Um, really cool little computers. Uh, use them on products. We're going to learn more about them, so we will definitely do that here. How's it going? Hey, nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Doing a little YouTube live stream. Want to say hi, everybody? Yeah, hi. So I'm staying with 3D PT. Mm -hmm. And uh, here I have my experiment, that seven-year experiment, film it. Awesome. So you can see how that is handled outside. Oh, very cool. And have different uh, flexible fidgets for sale. Um, also adapted grips, so if you know someone with arthritis, busted knuckles, all silver form. And a project I did a couple years ago was uh, your own belt. So this was actually done in Tinkercad. So what I want to do is, and you could uh, this is, uh, make it uh, into your own size. What I to do is, uh, That's awesome. And they, where can they find you? Like on. The so I'm on, on the web 3dpt.club, C-L-U-B. Um, YouTube is 3DPT. Uh, Twitter is at 3D Fidgets. Awesome. This looks really cool. Thank you. Doing, doing the hard work for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so all those, um, the one on top is to the side. And the one behind it is the control. So you can see the direct result of how the film is survived outside. Very neat. That's really cool. I mean, you, many many people don't realize that this, this stuff is is very much a, 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 a consumable. It, it yeah. does not last forever. It's yeah. So if you're so, um, I had people asking like how different filaments last. Like PLAs go brittle within one to two years. Mm -hmm. um, I have some nylons and PTGs. Those are a lot more durable. And other fun materials like TPUs on one end. So I've got that. And I ended up with a bunch of weird samples as well, so it's like weird materials you never even heard of. Yeah, I see the HEP material over here on the end here. That's yeah. interesting. 
Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you. it. How's it going? Raymond? I am. Nice. Is this uh, Dan's Ugly Duckling? I'm sorry? Dan's Ugly Duckling? I love it. I love the top hat on it. So basically, I can, I can set this up yeah. to where instead of having, like with that big tree check when I had to put the uh, uh, micro SD in, that's it, it loops there. Otherwise, if I pull it out, it won't. This one, this one uses USB. Right. Back to the Delta. Oh, we're gonna go. We're gonna talk to Zolan. Uh, Alrighty. Got Pro Pasta back here. How's it going? Hey, Gino. You got any sandpaper? I do not. No, Just my abrasive personality. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? How's the show going for you? Not too bad. Tired. No, it, it, I have to say this year is actually better than last year because by, by having the north and the south hall, there's not as it's not as cramped. Right. Not as overwhelming. I agree. <laughs> yeah, I somehow, you know, things have been flying off my tables all weekend, and I'm glad, but it's like, crap, I should have printed more. Yep. <laughs> well, and the problem is, I printed 209 whistles standing up vertically. I was almost out of them by the end of yesterday. Oh, wow. That was, that was... He's got one left. He's got it in his pocket. Oh, because I need to have it. Nice. <laughs> and yeah, so on Maker Deck, I printed 209 of these standing up on this, like that. No failure. And they flew off the table. Oh, wow. That's, so what's your, where are you printing on the uh, bamboo right now? Uh, at the moment, I'm printing Cali Dragon in uh, the Proto Prospect. OK. And when that's done, I'll be printing the case for my new TD1. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I've been hearing all about that. So that way I can start using new forge that I bought when it first came out and it only used it. Awesome. Well, thank you guys. We're going to say hi to the people That's real it. quick as we walk away. <laughs> Have a great rest of the show. I do want to stop at the KB3D booth because they are good friends of the channel. I did not get to see them yesterday too much. We will go talk to them. Fabrica's over there. Took a look at a couple of their builds yesterday. I love the, the Delta over there. Got the Voron group over here, the Voron guys. KB3D is an amazing reseller of all sorts of cool 3D printed parts. And then I think it's 50 Okay, okay, okay. They got the Stealth Press here. They got a custom Ember prototype plate. These guys are good guys. They're awesome people. This is the sample from the Ember prototype plate. I did order one for the XL, a custom one with a custom my logo on it. Uh, so that'll be really cool to see when that gets here. You can see that's the finish on the, the on the print itself from the plate from this one right here. So I got the thin coated plate with my logo on it for the XL. So hopefully when we get that, that's gonna be really cool to see. I'll show that off. Oh my god, I'm never going back. I hear you. I'll let me know where the time goes. Is that a big channel? Oh my gosh, it's Big Jano! Say hi everybody. <laughs> are, we, are we live? We are live. Hello, Hello. Maker Twitch. <laughs> we're on YouTube actually. Oh, we're on YouTube. I know, shocking. Hello, Maker YouTube. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, what do you guys well, do? We are KB3D. We're an open source hardware enthusiast turned store. And, um, we help you build cool things with parts or supplies or full kits or 
<laughs> whatever it might be. That's awesome. Yeah. I was just taking a look at the uh, the Ember prototype plates. Those are amazing looking. I, yeah, I can't we can wait sell to get mine. Them. Oh, you've got one coming too. I, I did do a custom order one, so oh, I'm excited for yeah. the XL. Yep. Yeah, he's doing good stuff up there. So. And you said you are a reseller for them? Yeah, we're a reseller for them. We may or may not be able to facilitate the custom plate orders in the future. Obviously, it's a custom item, so it's a little But they, have, they are doing some custom, uh, some stock designs, I did see. Yeah, Was creator that what... plates and just generic designs. Yep. So. Awesome. And then you guys have the CNC kitchen uh, heated insert kits, I see? Or Yeah, we brought all that down. And between us and Stefan, we're doing 20% off over the weekend. We always bring something to show us, you know, just to... Bring a show special or two. Got linear rails going on as well. I actually might be. I'm definitely going to be looking at. Um, I know I said yesterday I'm going to be looking at upgrading my XL nozzle to the Obsidian. I know you guys sell that, so yep. we'll definitely be uh, getting that hopefully soon. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but awesome. It, it, you guys uh, are great. Uh, great people in the community you guys have been huge support for many people you guys have an awesome setup here kb3d go get, go check out their website uh, where else can they find you guys uh, well i'm normally streaming on twitch mm -hmm. i haven't been doing that the last couple months preparing for this kind of thing but, right um uh twitter the website obviously discord twitch i'm everywhere all the time mm -hmm. but yeah here have a ticket all right another one i guess <laughs> well, awesome. Well, thank All you right, so thanks, much, guys. man. Yep. Duet 3D is over there as well, as well as E3D. We did take a look at the West 3D stuff. I will be getting some of the West 3D Ambrosia film for those that didn't see it yesterday. We don't have any here to sell. Prince of Purple, this is going to be on my radar for sure when I get back. They also have a, like a burnt titanium color as well. It is called Titanium Anno. Gotta, gotta love the good, good stuff. Let's go. Let's see. Hey, 3DHP, welcome in. Yeah, we're just walking around seeing all the really cool maker tables right now. Um, we've, we've been through both the South and North Hall. We're kind of, we're going to be kind of, hope, we're going to be probably wrapping up here very shortly. We're almost about an hour. I did want to check this out because I did see this yesterday, and I was really impressed with this almost industrial-like 3D printer. You got Mitch with the backpack printer. We got Justin on the Segway. Oh, yeah. Only way to get around at the show. Oh, how's it hanging, man? You doing good? Back, we have like three back, back to back here. backpack printers. We need the third. Where's back to back to back? Back to back to back to back. So Mitch is repping the the KP3 Pro. Is that? Yeah, KP3, not the Pro. Oh, just, just the regular KP3S. Awesome. The. Uh, Graciously provided by Sliceworks. I love the Sliceworks filament here. I love the setup. It's a color match to the uh, to the toll battery colors. I love it. Yeah. Running off of our 20, 20 volt uh, toll batteries. That's amazing. So, how long of a project does this take you, like from start to finish? I got the printer uh, sometime after Murph last year. Uh, I printed a few things on it, and then uh, we decided to work on this. So I think I started February, mid March, <laughs> probably a month, a month to actually build it, basically. Very cool. I love it. The chat loves it too. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Hi, chat. Go follow SliceWorks and uh, Mitch 3D. Absolutely. So this is Oozbot. This is a industrial 3D printer. This thing is all one housing, which is amazing looking. Got the interface here.
Is this like a modular setup or how does this work? So really this is to showcase the software side of the thing. So uh, basically to show, simulate a small print farm, right? So you've got three nodes in the print farm. We want to add another node. You plug it in, that's, that's the control panel there for another printer. You plug it in, our software goes out, auto discovers that you, another printer has joined the private wireless network. Nothing goes up to the cloud. It stays, everything stays here local. It, all, it sees that, adds it into the farm, get, assigns it a node number, and then automatically pushes the config down and you're prepping printing in 10, 15 minutes. That's what this is to simulate. Plus, it just looks really cool, right? Like in oh, this yeah. enclosure. We needed something that we could you know, take to shows and push in and push out easy, push into potential customers' uh, offices and say, this is, here's what, you know, you want to have a small print farm, here's what it would look like. We have no intent necessarily to sell this as it is. Mm -hmm. uh, we sell the printers that go inside of it. We sell the enclosures for the printers. And if you need a custom one like this, we'll do it for you. But this isn't going to be something that we're actively marketing to sell, right? Well, good to know. That's, that's, it's still really amazing. It's, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I love the industrial look of it. I, yeah. So if you take, you know, if you just look at one node of the cluster, that's a typical what we would sell standalone, right? That's the enclosure. All of our printers are geared more for industrial than the home user. Right. Right. So uh, printing uh, ABS and higher temperature stuff. So it needs to be in a heated chamber. Um, so these are what our chambers look like. This is just stretched out pretty far. You got the IDEX machine behind you. Show Of the 80s, we played a lot of video games. Yeah. So you can tell our cabinets are kind of very on purpose styled after arcade cabinets. <laughs> right. The T moving. Give it a different kind of a unique look. Awesome. Where can, where can they learn more about this? So we haven't officially launched the company. The point of being here today is to kind of get the name out there. Nobody had heard of Oozbot prior to yesterday, most for the most part. Um, so oozbot.com, we're on Instagram. See us on Instagram. We've been teasing out a little, some videos. We've got a, a close partnership with uh, Slice Engineering. So Slice has uh, showed a couple of videos along, along showing the progression of the printers as we as we come along. Uh, we should be launching later this year, early first quarter of next year probably. Um, but you know, it, it's awesome. So Glad you guys were able to make it out here. This looks really impressive. Yeah, thanks wish, for stopping in. Wish the best for you guys. Thanks a lot. Good Thank you. Pretty neat. I like seeing I like I like seeing cool stuff like that. And it's also I didn't see these yesterday, but yesterday it was snowing all day. We'll go outside briefly. It's a very nice day today here. It was 30s yesterday, and it's now hopefully in the 60s. Hopefully it's warmer. Here, you can now see mountains in the backdrop. You can see mountains for the last couple days. A little, little too many clouds and too much snow, but. Much nicer day today here out in uh, in Loveland. Yeah, th this year the the rep, the Rocky Mountain Rep Rap Festival has uh, been really incredible for sure. I definitely a huge step up from last year. Next to Lowe's Bar over here. Um, what's really been good about this event this year is now that we have this, the, both the North and the South halls. They filled up so well, and there's still a great turnout here. It's been it's been an incredible turnout all weekend, and I've heard nothing but good good praise from everybody that I've talked to, and about the event staff. So I'm I'm really excited. That this event's been going well for them. I hope to continue to come back here for the next couple of years. I mean, for years to come. I am going to be talking to the Big Tree Tech guys at some point. Um, look at some of their cool stuff. We did look at their stuff a little bit yesterday. And uh, kind of, we kind of made the loop again. So we today, today we focused on all of the really awesome makes, makers and exhibitors here. Um, yesterday was more focusing on some of the vendors and going on the outside vendors. Really cool stuff here. All sorts of really... Fantastic things. So many different things seen here. Like the one thing I've really noticed is that not every, everybody has something different. Everyone's bringing something unique to the table on what they're making, what they're doing. Back here at my table, LEDs are still going strong. Everything's still working pretty well. The 
gingerbread house is still gingerbread housing. The light box is actually up and running today. That's from inside the venue last year. My face, the Joel Telling 60 second video last year. You can see a little bit, there we go. The Remurf logo. This one's not lit up, but it has the big channel logo on it. You got the LED light panel, the channel leafs 3.0. Working. All my stickers are gone, which is good. We're getting there. And then we got to fix some good uh, hardtop G printing and some Green Gate Pet G, the, the transition purple rain. On uh, Justin's Bruce Mini, he let me, let me the weekend for the weekend. And we got the 80s inspired colored uh, Remurf logo. But yeah, there's been some really cool things here this event. And uh, I've been very much looking forward to uh, this event for a long, long, long time. And I'm really glad I was able to show you guys this weekend some of the stuff here. Um, but uh, it, it's been great. I, I've had a blast here. Hopefully more of you guys that aren't here this year can make it next year. Um, or if you couldn't make it this year, try and make it next year. Uh, definitely worth it. You meet a lot of really cool people, projects, companies. And there's just a lot of... Uh, it's just it's just an amazing time. I, you will not regret it one bit. All right. Um, with that being said, uh, we're just heading over an hour now. So, yeah, I need to find a gimbal for next year. I think uh, my hands been shaking a little bit. I do apologize for that. Um, but with that being said, you know I do appreciate you guys being here. We're gonna wrap up the stream. Uh, we kind of covered everything here today. Um, and yesterday, if you guys missed day one uh, live stream yesterday, definitely check it out. It's on live on the channel. Uh, the VOD is available for you guys to watch. Go give it a like as well. And uh, definitely hit the like button here today if you enjoyed today's content. Um, but that's, with that being said, that's going to wrap up today. Uh, today's coverage. Thank you guys so much for being here today. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Uh, we'll be back to our normal live stream content uh, this week at some point. I don't know if it'll be Tuesday or not. Um, I don't get back home till Monday night, so we might... Might not have a stream Tuesday, but I'll let you guys know for sure. Um, but thank you so much for being here. Uh, thank you, thank you again uh, to the Rocky Mountain Rep Rap Festival uh, organizers for letting me come back again this year. And uh, yeah, it's been amazing. But until then, uh, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna sign off here. Thank you guys so much for being here. I greatly appreciate you all. Um, have a great rest of your weekend. And until next time, everybody. Keep doing it big. Take care, everyone.